Ladies and gentlemen in the House, on Monday I filed House Resolution 495, a resolution calling for the reestablishment of a prayer room in the Capitol. In 1982, leaders in the Illinois General Assembly began the process of establishing a prayer room in our Capitol building. It was an amazing 15-year effort, then led by Speaker Michael Madigan when he introduced H.R. 408 in 1985, which designated a prayer room on the first floor of the Capitol. Regrettably, when the west wing of the Capitol was remodeled in 2013, the prayer room was removed and the area transformed into a hearing room. As the north wing of our Capitol is now being remodeled, I have filed H.R. 495 to request the reestablishment of a prayer room in the Capitol near the rotunda during the current and ongoing uh, renovations. As many of us realize, prayer has always been a part of our nation, which began with the Founding Fathers as they sought direction, protection, and wisdom of God. Our great need for God's help today is no different than our forefathers when they created this nation. This is why it only makes sense to have the prayer chapel designated in our state capitol. Further, our Illinois Constitution originally and still includes these words in the preamble. We, the people of the state of Illinois, grateful to Almighty God for the civil, political, and religious liberty which he has so long permitted us to enjoy, and looking to him for a blessing upon our endeavors to secure and transmit the same unimpaired to succeeding generations. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, let us demonstrate our gratitude to the Almighty God for his blessings upon the endeavors of this chamber and the state of Illinois by reestablishing a place where prayer, where men and women of faith may withdraw to seek divine strength and guidance, both in public affairs and in their personal matters. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in signing on to H.R. 495. Thank you.